Hello, Professor Coburn. My name is Tan Nguyen from, from your Aero 3271 class. And today I'm going to talk about the topic fracture mechanics. And I will talk about the crash, the chest intensity factor, and the chest intensity modification factor. So first of all, we have to know what's a fracture mechanics. The fracture mechanics is a field of mechanics concerned with the study, the propagation of crash in materials. It's the study of fracture of material due to the pro the propagation of crash. Basically, we can we can simply know that it's the study of crash in rapid structure. And we have three different types of crash. The first one, the first one is the opening crash, it's due to tension. The second one is the sliding crack, it's due to inland shear. And the last one is the tailing crack, it's due to our plan shear. And of course, we can have the combination of more than one, one mole, but the mole number one is, is the most common one we will be in here. And we move on with the stress intensity factor. The, and it's the function of, uh, of the external chest and the crack plane. But it's not saying that the value for this expression will change based on the geometry shape or even the location of a crack. And, the basically the chain intensity factor is, is the function of geometry factor, such as the shape, the location. And for this, we use the chain intensity modification factor. And we have I have a formula for it right here. The 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 KI equal the chain intensity modi modification factor times with the mass chest and time with the square up by and the crack length. And here's some example of the crack. Uh, it's the, this is the crack inside a play in the long longitudinal tension. This is a rectangular cross section that have an S crack. And this is a crack inside a circular hole inside a play in tension. And when we, and when we finish to find the value of the check intensity factor Ki, we can compare it to the value of Kic, is the critical check intensity factor. The Kic is known as the material property that's depend on the material, the crack mode, the processing of the material temperature flowing right to the critical chest, and it's also known as the factor toughness. Uh, since it's designed as a material pro property theoretically, we could find its value for an engineering material. And here's some material and the value of KIC. We, have, we consider here the carbon steel and it's the um, critical check intensity factor is 205 and follow on. And the factor subnet to the chest intensity factor reason can be used as a factor of safety. I brought the formula right here. And if the value of this one is negative, so it means the fat factor will occur and the bus must be redesigned or prepared. And if, and if the value is, is positive, it means the fat factor does not occur, but the, but the crack will still roll on the repeated loading. And how important of the factor mechanics to into aerospace or mechanical field? It's geometric of air analytical solid mechanics to calculate the driving force on the crack and those of experimental solid mechanics to characterize the materials resistant to fracture. In modern material science fracture mechanics is an important tool improving the mechanical performance of church members' component on various components. And we move on with, with the um, how important a factor of factor mechanic while choosing the right material for an air, air, airplane. So I'm making the example of Boeing 747 LRLN 1862. That's grass. In the uh, October 4, 1992, because of the Boeing Zero, the wrong material for the connection for the aircraft. 
And as we can see the victory, and the uh, plane is crashed because two of the engine on the right side of the airplane is, is down and it's fall out to the ground. So it, so it makes the airlines lose a stable and then it's crashed into the building. And we know that like the guys falling engine falling off the place is, is case where the producer of the airline had talked about when design the plane. In sky up engine for out the plane, the uh, first two blocking spin, as we can see the picture right here. Uh, the, the first two blocking wing will break. Um, so that the end, so that the engine will fall out to will fall out directly to the ground, but somehow they go into the material for the connection part, the uh, for the power connection part in the middle right here is not strong enough. So the party, so the party break, and it leads to the end. The engine fall down, and it's might the other one fall down as well. So the airplane basically fall down two engine to the ground on one on one side of the aircraft, and then it leads to an accident. Of the and here's some example about the fracture top net. Uh, we have we we given the material KIC and the back fracture when the crack length side is six millimeter and the um, and the and the chest is three uh, three hundred and fifty m MBA. So from here we can see the we can see the crack length is like so it's the circle. And um, the uh, crack side is two way, and from the crack line we can uh, calculate it to we can calculate the I is three millimeter, and we can put it to three millimeter. And we can when from that we can calculate the value of Ki because of the part factor when this case happened. So we assume the so we can say that the Ki is equal Kic, and this equal fifth, and this is equal fifty. And from that, the unknown value is the is the better, and then we can, and based on this equation right here, we can find the value of the jet intensity more deviation factor, and the and the answer is asking for the the we will factor when the chest at two at two hundred eighty the MBA and the and the crack length side is three at ten millimeter. And um, and from the ten millimeter crack crack side, we uh, we can we can calculate the the crack side is five millimeter by dividing by two, and we convert it to the meter. And and from the uh, beta we calculate right here, we uh, can calculate the. Uh, New value, new value of Ki for this guy right here. When when it when it have the uh, two hundred i i d m b h s and the and the crash side is zero oh oh five millimeter. And after we done with calculation, we get the uh, Ki value is fifty one point point fifty eight, which is bigger than the Kic. So the pack will fracture. Um. So I'm done with the topic about the uh, fracture mechanics. Thank you for your time, Professor. Thank you so much.